Hey everyone, Boss Bafak here. Um, having a lovely glass of red wine from <clears throat> California. It's a Cabernet Franc I'm drinking right now um, from the cellar. And uh, it's beautiful. It's uh, 2009, so it's got about 15 years of age on it. <clears throat> and it's showing all the beautiful notes typical of a uh, Cabernet Franc. Some lovely cassis. But that's probably from the 10% of Cabernet, that, that Napa Cabernet that's in here. Um, some beautiful notes of tar, a little bit of um, um, mint. Oh, some beautiful, lots of red, dark red fruits. Um, all the flavors I really enjoy out of wine. Now, the reason we're here today, mm, just taking a sip of that is for a new purchase, a new acquisition of mine. I've always wanted a really nice lighter for my cigars and uh, did that this, this, this little while. I've always liked DuPont's lighters <clears throat> and I decided to go with the Le Grand. And here it is, it's an absolutely beautiful piece. Uh, gorgeous lighter. So the Le Grand is interesting. I was looking at the Line 2, but the Line 2 only has the soft flame. Um, now you, aren't, you do get fingerprints all over these things. Um, so while I don't mind for typically a um, as I'm using it, but um, obviously for the video, maybe a little annoying. But why I prefer the Le Grand to the Line 2, and they all have this beautiful... They're known for what they call it, the cling. Listen to this. Um, this one has the soft flame, which is beautiful. But if you push the lighter roller up, it turns into a torch. And I wanted the torch because I do prefer to smoke outside. And even the slight breeze, it'll be very difficult to light your cigar with just the soft flame. I do like a soft flame and quite often it works in my backyard um, in the evenings where they're very calm where I live. Um, but you know, it's always good to have a torch if you're a cigar smoker. So I chose the diamond pattern in the yellow gold. That's the finish that I chose. They also come in, in various lacquered versions, these particular um, lighters. Um, but the problem with the lacquered versions, for some reason, it dulls the sound of the lighter. So when, you know, one of the, one of the gimmicky <clears throat> and, you know, really the, the sort of the trademarks of this particular lighter is the noise it makes when you open the lid. There you go. That was me. Screw, screw that up, by the way. <laughs> Beautiful sound. Um, beautifully finished lighter. Uh, the one thing about this light is when you do open the lid, of course, the butane comes out. Now, the other thing is I did go ahead and purchase the St. DuPont butane, which they very cleverly have made the nozzle um, to only fit this particular opening. But I don't have an issue with it. I mean, look, at the end of the day, it costs about double what you pay for a, for a can of butane. Actually, probably more like triple. Um, but it's not hundreds of dollars. It's about $30. And... Um, versus you could probably buy it for about 10 or 8 at a Costco or something like that. But I, I mean, I just went ahead and bought a can of, of it. It's not the end of the world. So this is the Saint DuPont Le Grand lighter in, um, in the yellow gold diamond pattern. Very well made. I mean, beautifully made lighter. You can't even see the, you can barely see the uh, line where the lid meets the rest of the body got a fair bit of heft. Um, I want to say this is probably in the range of 10 to 12 ounces um, in weight. Um, wonderfully finished. This piece over here, which is how you light it, is a, is, is a sort of a loose, looser version, but matches beautifully in sort of this diamond pattern. They've done a really good job where the, where, you know, over here you'll see where they've put the name of the, of Saint DuPont in Paris, it says. Um, and it's a smooth, beautiful area, and that follows on to the lighter roller over here, where where you know sort of the lines follow up with one another. So beautifully done. So it's smooth over here, 
to the extent of where the, the um, smooth patch for the branding sits. And then of course the diamond pattern continues exactly where the diamond pattern lines are for the rest of the lighter. So it's really done very beautifully. Um, feels wonderful in the hand. Uh, really enjoy it. Now in terms of um, in terms of how you fill the lighter, it's at the bottom. The previous version of the Legrand had a little cap which lifted up to show this. It's now it now has the latest version um, is it has these exposed. So on this side, what you do over here, you lift up over there. You lift up this little lever and you unscrew this. It comes out. And inside, there's a painted color, which is, which matches the color of the butane you're supposed to use from, from Saint Dupont. Um, and that's where you fill that up. Uh, and then on the other side, where there's also a lever that you pull up with your nail, not very hard to do. Uh, let's see if I got it on the right side. Might not have it on the right side here. Uh, maybe it's that side there. A little hard to do this um, one-handed. <laughs> But the levers are quite easy to lift up. There we go. And so there's the, there you see the little lever. Let's see if I can focus my camera here. There you see the lever. And that's how you make the flame higher or lower. Um, now, I purchased this directly from Saint Dupont in France. One of the things that, that, that we were told in the past is... How you can know if there is a if your if your Saint Dupont lighter is a fake or or genuine, um, you look at the coding at the bottom, the serial number. And in the old days, what they would do is this is also sort of these the hallmark from Saint Dupont. And so what would happen there is they would actually use a chisel, and each chisel had one of the letters or the um, shapes that they would manually hammer into the bottom of the of the lighter but they don't do that today so i wouldn't worry about that so if you've purchased your lighter sort of post 2020 then now laser air and so what they would say to you prior is that how you would know if your particular lighter was a fake is that this serial number would never be perfectly straight because they're manually hammering the letters and the numbers and the little shapes in there so there's no way any human being can get them perfectly shaped Put in a perfectly straight line. That was true. But after 2020, they now laser etch this particular serial number into the lighter. So that's not going to tell you anything. Um, again, I know this for a fact because I purchased this one directly from the Saint Dupont factory in France. Um, and so this is obviously uh, not a fake. And as you can see here, it's absolutely perfectly laser etched. And I did ask them about this and they explained the process to me. Um, it's sort of if you if you have a very very strong microscope, you'd see that they actually have a, a almost like some sort of a uh, watermark in there, like you have on a passport or a, or, or um, cash bills. So they have their own ways of making sure that these things aren't counterfeit. But um, really, buying it from a registered supplier or directly from Saint Dupont, as I did, is is really the best way to know. So you know what? This is not a cheap item. I think I paid about fifteen hundred. Uh, 1400 US dollars for this this lighter it's sort of a once off thing I bought it as a birthday gift for myself and um, you know it's one kind of thing you do sort of once off um, I, I, as I say I have many lighters I've always wanted one really good lighter and and this is the one I purchased and I'm loving it I'm really happy with it um, again you know watching it have watching it work beautiful sound works lovely and then you just Just like that. Really easy to fill. Um, and uh, there, there's actually a ton of videos on YouTube in terms of how to maintain and keep, keep cleaning your, your lighter. I would suggest and recommend that one looks at those. You know, it is an expensive item and um, it's worthwhile um, getting this, doing things right. Especially when you put something as, as lovely as this and you want it to last a long time. And of course, the um, guarantee program with Saint Dupont is really good too. So anyhow, thanks very much for listening to me. Um, I'm really enjoying my Saint Dupont lighter and uh, I will speak to you guys soon. Cheers.